good morning dear students welcome back to our lesson life processes in my yesterday's session in my yesterday's lecture i have completed the last topic of the photosynthesis that was factors affecting photosynthesis everything related to the photosynthesis we have seen in the yesterday's session means i would like to say that we have completed autotrophic mode of nutrition now we will go ahead for the heterotrophic mode of nutrition but in that also heterotrophic mode of nutrition i have completed the heterotrophic mode of nutrition based on the nature of food and to the feeding of an organism means what are the habits of food feeding of an organism that we have completed into the school itself so i would like to go ahead for the nutrition in animals the first favorite organism for all of us that is amoeba because most times cbsc is asking questions on the amoeba section various times questions are repeated into the cbsc exam class 10th exam final exam most of the questions are asked on the amoeba so we will see this is very important to know how the amoeba is acquiring its food students we are knowing there are three types of mode of nutrition of heterotrophic mode of mode of nutrition feed of an organism those are holozoic mode of nutrition uh, saprophytic mode of nutrition and parasitic mode of nutrition out of that saprophytic and parasitic mode of nutrition we have seen in the school itself but now we will go for the holozoic mode of nutrition and into the holozoic mode of nutrition uh, human beings and amoeba is also coming amoeba is a unicellular organism then too it is acquiring whole food whole food in the sense all kind of nutrients are included in it all or that food may be solid or liquid so whole food is grabbed by the amoeba and what happens further that we will see students we are knowing amoeba is a unicellular organism and which is which is coming uh, which is found into the water bodies especially into the dirty water we can found amoeba okay and it's unicellular organism it's microscopic organism we are unable to see it with our naked eyes so it is called as a microorganism and the microorganisms which are causes any type of uh, problem to our body are called as or infection to our body are called as a pathogens so mostly amoeba is called as a pathogen one kind of dysentery is caused due to the amoeba that is uh, uh, amoebic dysentery and the name of that amoeba is antamoeba histolytica so this is all about amoeba n number of diseases are caused due to the amoeba so here uh, with the help of holos first of all i would like to know you it is following holos high mode of nutrition holos high mode of nutrition means whole food is taken whole food is taken in the form of solid or in the form of liquid whole food means all kind of nutrients are included in it okay so this is uh, holos high mode of nutrition which is followed by amoeba now i will draw the structure we are knowing students amoeba has not specific space shape shape and size if you will see under the microscope amoeba okay if you will see the structure of amoeba under the microscope then we will found that amoeba do not have proper shape amoeba is always changing its shape and as other cells are there as it is unicellular we are knowing students amoeba is unicellular cannot be seen by the naked eyes we are unable to see it with the naked eyes so it is called as a microscopic this is what the nucleus okay and other cell organelles this is nucleus and we can see cell organelles are present into the amoeba and because of the cell organelles all the life processes are possible to amoeba because of the cell organelle only okay and the when structure is present on the amoeba that is called as a pseudopodia pseudo pseudopodia what is mean by pseudopodia pseudopodia is what false feet or false legs because of this false feet or false legs amoeba is moving from one place to another place which term we utilize student for it that term is locomotion right locomotion means amoeba is moving from one place to another place with the help 
of the false feet or false legs and that process is called as a locomotion that process is followed for even to grab the food right to grab the food amoeba is moving from one place to another place okay so engulfing the food amoeba is moving towards the that food okay now what steps amoeba is following when the when the nutrition of the amoeba is going on that we will see <coughs> Into that, what is there? The food is there, which is in the form of bacteria. 
right? And beside it, what? Phagosome is there. Phagosome. Which contains lysosome and hydrolytic enzyme which are responsible for the digestion of this food. Means bacteria. Means bacteria. Okay? So, all together, all together, it is called as a phagolysosome. All together, both. I hope you understand. These are the lysosomes which is which contain hydrolytic enzyme. Okay. Then the, here it is phagosome which contains this lysosome which contains this hydrolytic enzyme which is responsible for the digestion of food. Now food is entering into the amoeba that process is called as an ingestion in the form in the form of bacteria. Food is entered inside it. Okay, and it forms a food vacuole. Okay, along with it there is a phagosome. Now what will happen? This phagosome and this food vacuole along with food all together is called as a phagolysosome. Phagolysosome. All together. Okay, and this phagolysosome it is called. Now, it will enter inside and it will form a phagolysosome. Okay. Now, further what will happen? Now, in the next step what will happen students? The whatever food has taken, phagolysosome, whatever it has formed, the phagolysosome, it will try to, it will, the amoeba will try to absorb itself. Means ingestion, after that the process is what? Digestion. Digestion has taken place already. That is what? Phagolysosome has formed. So digestion has already taken place. Means that food material, the complex food material, that lies, the enzymes have tried to convert it into simpler form. And the third step is what? Absorption. Absorption. Means that food material is getting absorbed by all the cell of the amoeba. Okay, by all the cell of the amoeba, it's tried to absorb. Amoeba try to absorb the food which is digested. Okay, at the same time, when it will get absorbed, at the same time, only this part of the cell does not require food. The food has to move from, from everywhere. Means, the food has to move from high concentration to the low concentration. The food has to move uniformly. The food has to move uniformly. And that process means that food particles will move everywhere. It will spread everywhere. That process is called as a assimilation. What is called? Assimilation. Means now the food has getting assimilated everywhere. The food has getting assimilated everywhere. Now, once the Amoeba has taken in food, absorbed, assimilated everywhere. The nutrition process has completed. Now, whatever the excretory material, after the digestion of food, after the absorption, after the assimilation, whatever the excretory material would be there, that material would be formed by again forming a cavity-like structure. How food vacuole has formed? When amoeba has entered inside, the food vacuole has formed. Likewise, it will try to move outside by forming a vacuole. Right? Now this vacuole contains the excretory material. And now again, as it is the selectively permeable membrane, the amoeba would rupture from one side and what would happen? That excretory material will go out from the cell by the process of ejection. By the process of ejection. So, this question is asked into the exam. What process the amoeba is following to get rid of excretory material? Most of the students, as I have asked last year, most of the students have written diffusion process. Student, the food particles are getting diffused everywhere. Assimilation is taking everywhere. But the food particles, in case of amoeba, is getting rid by the process of ejection. Here excretory material, excretory material, the amoeba 
is getting rid of by the process of ejection. So this is the holozoic mode of nutrition formed by the amoeba and whole this process is called as a and we are going here cytoplasm is there which contains cell wall present. Right? So this process is called all together this process is called as a phagocytosis. 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 Got it? Because cytoplasm is there. Phagosome is also there. Phagolysosome has formed. Food has assimilated. Food has gone out by the process of ejection. That is the excretory process of the amoeba. In this manner, the holozoic mode of nutrition is followed by the amoeba and the whole process together is called as a phagocytosis. In my tomorrow's lecture, I will go for the human digestive system. Thank you very much.